before they decide to make a purchase. Now, the great thing, some of you actually have heard that out there. Now, let me ask you this. If you are not online, and you're not using social media, because Google recognizes social media, you will actually rank higher in Google if you're using social media the correct way. So if you're not online and using social media the correct way, who are they finding? Your customers, who are they finding when they go online? That's right, they're finding your competition. So the importance of getting out there and having a strong social media presence is super important. But not only that, you can go online and interact with your customers. This is how you maintain loyal customers, and this is how you get referrals into your social media network as well. Biggest one of them all, Facebook has over 900 million users, and most of those are located right here in the United States. So our big question is, knowing all the stats about Facebook and how and about social media and how it plays a big role in your business, knowing the current state of social media and what it can do for you and how many users there are, our question is this to you. What's your piece? And forget that you exist if you're not in front of them at all times. Now, if your competition is out there, they have a big online presence and are interacting with those with your customers, what's happening? They're stealing that customer right from you. So we've got to remind them we exist. We did a little acronym earlier. You guys remember TOMA? What does it stand for? Top, top of mind awareness. Top of mind awareness. You keep your business at the top of your customer's minds, and then you will keep them coming back. You will keep them being loyal to you, and you will keep those referrals always being mean, as prominent as it is nowadays. They're going to go online, and their complaint has potential to reach hundreds to thousands of people. The good news about this is, if you provide great customer service and you have a great product, guess what? It's gonna reach hundreds to thousands of people. And then one of the things that we teach you is how to get your customers to get out there and advertise for you. Anyone here want new customers or looking for new customers? Great, and if you're having a hard time sometimes finding those new customers. And a lot of the times we're out there prospecting, but we're prospecting in the wrong places. We don't even know where our clients hang out. That's half the problem. I was working with a company called, as you can see on here, Local Guerrilla Marketing. Who's heard of Guerrilla Marketing? Great, uh, Jay Conrad Levinson, he wrote Guerrilla Marketing back in the 80s, sold over 21 million copies worldwide. And I was able to work directly with him and become a local Guerrilla Marketing consultant. And what we did was help small businesses gain a bigger presence online. So they can attract new customers, they learn how to maintain those customers, customer loyalty, get it coming back again, all by using social media strategies. All right, we taught them how to get those customers to advertise for them and say positive things about them online. Because we both know it can go the opposite way as well if we're not careful. And then we taught them how to actually monetize off of social media and make some money. Who wants to make some more money just by using some online strategies? Awesome, I'm gonna teach you one strategy today. I'm gonna teach you the step by step, the six step process on how I made $10,000 off of one Facebook post. Does anybody want to learn how to do that? Yeah. Just want to make sure I'm next. And we've got Nancy, we have Judy, and I think it was, was it Al? Cow. Cow, okay, I didn't hear that one correctly. And of course, we've got uh, David over here, and Brenda, right, correct? Okay, yeah. purple, purple. And Matt and Leticia, who I've met before in another event, and Daniel. Did I yeah. Do that? Right thumb over your left. 
have their, wow, okay, guys, take note, Dick, the people in the room that are standing up right now, you guys are actually known to be a little bit more intelligent and smarter than the
prospect. Does that make mm -hmm. sense to you? Does that resonate with you? If I told you, tell me your name one more time. Brenda. Brenda. Brenda, if I said, um, if you drive 40 minutes down the road, there are five leads there that are going to close. There are warm leads. They're definitely going to close. Would you drive? Of course. You would go straight there. <laughs> That's the mindset we have to get ourselves into every single day. I'm going to drive out here today and prospect in this area, and there's five leads that I'm going to get. And I'm going to build relationships with, and I'm going to close. We just have to have that mindset when we're out there. My product's great enough that they're going to work. Welcome to Success at Sales Factory Event 2012. Number one how to trainer in America, Mr. Omar Carrillo. Get ready for a ride. Put on your seatbelts and help me welcome the one and only Rhonda Redding. It comes down to it, we're all here for one reason, and that's because we want to better our businesses. And we want to better our lives. There are those people out there that are waiting for success to fall into their laps. They don't ever take action and it somehow never falls into their laps. <laughs> then there's people just like you guys who get out there, get to incredible events just like this, and you learn and you grow and you make success happen. The best quote I've ever heard, the best way to predict your future is to create it. And I commend you all for being here today creating your future success. Betsy Allen is her amazing energy and the more than uh, plethora of notes that I took today. She gives you the energy, ideas, how to grow yourself and your business. Betsy Allen was absolutely fantastic, incredible. If you've ever seen The Secret or anything like that, you have to listen to her. You have to get her in your room with everybody in there because her energy, her presence, all of it is just incredible. It's there. It, it engulfs the entire area. Everybody gets up, they're ready to go and do things. Uh, the group that she spoke to, I actually hosted a group. She came in, spoke to the entire group. Everybody loved her. Everybody was up other seats. They're high five in your Betsy Allen is who you want to get to know, who you want to have in your company. If you need to breathe life back into your company, or people discouraged, don't really know which way to go, don't have goals set, definitely call her. She's the next Tony Robbins, Zig Ziglar. Uh, Betsy came and spoke to our group today. I loved her energy. I loved her positive thinking and she got me motivated again. She gives them exactly what I need them to have to make us look like rock stars. She, she comes in and inspires and it's an honor to have someone like Betsy Allen. And Betsy spoke today, she was phenomenal. Um, she really got us all pumped up. Um, I absolutely love her tips on remembering names and birthdays with clients and I'm going to use it in my business. Betsy Allen came to mind. Uh, Hawks today and did a great job. We learned a lot of things on prospecting, learned some things on how to build a better rapport with customers, how to actually close the sale the right way and get customers to agree that they need the service. I think it was very beneficial and I'm looking forward to learning more about this, how, how this works in prospecting. We had the privilege of having Betsy Allen come and speak to our Women's Team Success Lunch. We had a full group of women that are key decision makers and business owners who were motivated, inspired, and just reminded of the importance of, of production and of people and relationships and uh, time management. So Betsy Allen is a inspirer, she's a motivator, and I want to encourage you, if you're looking for a speaker, she's your girl. Have her.